The fireworks began before the debate even started as Brooklyn City Councilman Vincent Gentili and Staten Island District Attorney Dan Donovan walked onto the stage. A protester began shouting the last words of Eric Garner, who died in police custody last year. Donovan impaneled the grand jury in the Garner case, which declined to bring charges against the officer involved. The DA said if given the chance, he wouldn't do anything differently. Gentili claims Donovan fought to hide information from the panel. Secrecy breeds suspicion, and in this case, in this case, we don't have to worry about uh, revealing the identity of the defendant. Everybody knows it was the police officer. So even if we were to release the police officers, have the court uh, and have the DA join us, as he did in 2012, and consent to the release of the police officer's testimony. I think the public policy uh, purposes for the secrecy of our grand jury are, are something that ought to remain. Otherwise, we're not going to have anybody testifying in a grand jury. Throughout the hour-long matchup, Donovan tagged Gentili as a tax-and-spend liberal who has done little while in office and would do even less as a junior congressman in the minority party. Gentili painted Donovan as inexperienced and out of touch. The exchange that drew the loudest response from the crowd came when Gentili asked Donovan what the current federal minimum wage is. Donovan didn't seem to know. The question is, what is the federal minimum wage? Whatever. We'll just... Yes, no. He's asking you a fact. As it, high as it can be, as long as it can be sustained by as long now? as it can be sustained we, by small businesses. We, we, Donovan later told reporters he misheard the question. I didn't hear it. I thought he asked me what I think the minimum wage should go to. This was the last debate between the two candidates before the May 5th special election. Both will now head back to the campaign trail. Well, they'll be talking to voters on their own terms. On Staten Island, Anthony Pascal, New York One.